I'm Michael Scott. I'm a professor in mechanical and industrial engineering. And I'm here at Expo, which is where all of the senior design projects show all the cool stuff they've done. And we have judges from all over different companies. We have projects that people work with companies. This is, this is the culmination of the students' whole curriculum. And I just love walking around and seeing all the things that they've accomplished. It's great. Our project is creating ear, mouse earplugs for them to wear when they go into the functioning MRI 9.7 Tesla. And our purpose for this is to make sure, it's to help them regain some of the MRI signals back when they go through because of the air that goes through the ear. And because of those air, it creates uh, artifacts. And then it doesn't really give out clear scans and images. So our earplug will help reduce the number of artifacts. This is our earplug and then we just put it in the mice and then we have a special oil to insert through the um, hole that's designed here and that helps reduce the amount of artifacts. It'll fill up, it'll fill up the whole ear completely and then from there these mouse are still or will be all asleep before they, they send them out into the MRI testing. So our project is Baby Got Dag Direct Air Capture, and it's in the title, our project is on direct air capture. So essentially air comes in, air is at about 400 ppm concentration of carbon dioxide, and leaves at about 100 ppm carbon dioxide. We have this whole loop here that it goes through, and eventually we deliver CO2 that's pressurized to a pipeline in California. We're trying to um, design a plant that captures carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere. Uh, carbon emissions are something that are seriously affecting global warming and climate change, so we want to try and do our part. We are doing the Village of Western Springs Flood Control Project. It is a combination of green and gray infrastructure to combat the significant flooding that the area experiences. Flooding to the point where cars are halfway inundated. We did some hydrologic modeling so that we could properly size our infrastructure solution. All of the excess runoff could be handled. We utilize the green infrastructure as our first line of defense. We also promote filtration so when the water goes through things like the bioswale and the rain gardens, plants naturally will filter out contaminants from the water. I'm a UIC alumni, graduated in 2003. And after many years of considering coming uh, to help out as a judge, I finally uh, decided to go ahead and do it this year. I included my son as he wants to be an engineer. And uh, we saw a lot of great projects uh, uh, out there. I'm actually in the middle of filling out the ballot right now. And I think uh, the students show a lot of progress. And there's a lot of things that, that have improved in the college. Uh, for example, 20 years ago, we did not have a 3D printer on campus, and now I'm told that we have multiple. So very exciting things uh, happening here at UIC. The engineering seems fun. It's like two of my favorite subjects. Like first is math, and second one is like science. I would like to like maybe like my dad does, like make problems work and make stuff like, or maybe even make something new. We wanted to make a game of Battleship that would be using the Arduino microcontrollers and it would be between two players. We also wanted to go for more of a handheld approach compared to like a tabletop approach. We can place our ships on this grid and basically like a regular game of Battleship except this time we're doing it digitally and we're communicating via, via serial communication. Right. So as you can see I place my ships, he's going to place his and then once he's done placing his we're ready to play and he's gonna try to attack me. As simple as it may look, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, right? So in order to be able to display these ships on the grid, there's a lot of complicated go code that goes into it. My name is Dan Bunn. I graduated in 2018 with a master's degree in computer science and I'm back here at the 2023 Expo to judge, kind of come full circle. So it's pretty amazing to, to be here. I'm very excited at the opportunity um, to come back to sort of I don't know, be part of that system, that family of uh, UIC has been very meaningful, meaningful for me. Um, and so I'm just, I'm so appreciative of the opportunity and just very excited to see all of the amazing work that these students are doing. It's just been an incredible experience. This is our smart helmet. Um, we are Team 12. And so what we've created here so far is a helmet that can detect blind spot detection. So it can detect anything that's behind you on the left or right side of your blind spots. The technology we incorporated into our helmet was the use of five ultrasonics. That way we can get a full 150 degrees of blind spot detection. 
We also implemented uh, two speakers and two LEDs. Those will be for notification of the rider. So that way we have them on your right side and your left side. And also if it's like directly behind you, they will all go off. Uh, we also implemented a nine degree freedom IMU. This is for if the user decides to turn their head and check their area. And so as a result, and largely because of these reductions, The Department of Mechanical Engineering requested a new driving simulator. So what they were currently using was just like the bit cheapest bottom of the line Logitech steering wheel and pedals just attached to a desk like in your normal classroom. So they were simulating distracted driving and what that is is like they were having kids doing texting and driving and not texting and driving and seeing how their reaction times were affected by that. Now, the thing that their current simulator couldn't really analyze results, like there was no immersion, it wasn't actually like driving, so it's not a very accurate simulation. Whereas this whole simulator was built on the fact to get the most immersion possible to feel like you're actually driving. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Stoyo. I am alumni, graduated in 99 with a Bachelor's of Science in EE. I work at a, a communication manufacturing OEM uh, called uh, Juniper Networks. Uh, we make telecom equipment that globally uh, support the most demanding of uh, networks and customer infrastructures. I just love the excitement, the enthusiasm for the students, uh, the projects. You know, it's uh, seeing how they put in application everything they've learned in the classroom. It uh, just rejuvenates and excites me to be here.